Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike Bakes It. The standard layout of a Defender TD5 around about 2001 was a speedo, fuel gauge, temperature gauge and a clock. Now, I particularly want a rev counter in here. The main reason is I fitted a Roma drive a few weeks ago and I want to keep an eye on the revs. So the only way I'm going to do that is bin one of these. So the clock's going to exit the door. Temperature gauge is going to stay where it is. Fuel gauge is going to move to where the clock is. And this taco rev counter, call it what you may, in here is going to go in this position. But it's not a straightforward fix on uh, fit, unfortunately. Uh, the rev counter I've got is geared up for connecting up to an alternator. Now, whilst I can do that, I've got to roll around under the truck, pull the alternator out, drill a hole, connect up to one of the windings, then run the cable up to the dash. All doable, but what I want to do is what Land Rover do, and interface a taco to the ECU that is sitting under the driver's chair. So that's what we're going to do today. Right, I've exposed the ECU. Basically, as most Land Rover owners will know, the seat base just flips up, exposes a metal plate here, unlatch that, that slides out of the way, and you've got immediate access to all the electronics. This is the ECU, silver thing, and it's got a black and a red plug. Now, I need to run a cable to pin 19 of the black plug. So what I'm gonna do is pull this out and we'll delve a little bit deeper and get that cable hooked in. Then I wanna run that up to an oscilloscope, just see if I've got an output from it that I can use with the non-standard tacker, which I don't think will work directly. So I've got to make an interface on that. But first thing, I'm going to pull the battery connector off because I don't want to be plugging the ECU uh, in and out when it's live. So disconnect the battery, then we'll come back, have a look at pin 19 on here. Right, after much head scratching, the pin I thought it was connected to on this plug isn't. Um, it's pin seven, if we get a light on there. If you count up middle row seven up from the left, looking from the top of the plug, that's where I want to connect to. Uh, the information I had is a pink and yellow wire. In my case, it's a white wire with a grey stripe or slate, I believe they call it. Now, so I'm going to connect anything into this on my model, but other models are different. So uh, that's I think that's what's confused me. I've looked at some information that wasn't relevant to my vehicle. But cut a long story short, the cable I want is that white with slate uh, stripe on it. And handily, that comes up here into the binnacle, into this connector. As you open the binnacle, let me see if I can get, you can see with the torch out the way. It's a binnacle on the right hand side as you're sitting in the driver's seat. And the slate and gray wire comes up to there. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. It's the one at the bottom on the right hand side, just below the pink. If you come round this side, there's an empty space. So I need to get a connector. I, temporarily, I'm just going to hook a bit of cable in there to see if we can get it working. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to lay a loom or a cable from here all the way through the vehicle up to the dash. I've already got it here, so a little bit of confusion to start with. So let's hook a cable into there, throw the rev counter on and see if it actually works. Right, we've got a bit of a lash up going on here, but pin 14 of the cable that goes to the dash, the binnacle there, is being fed down to the taco. Excuse the engine noise, obviously it's running at the minute. Uh, I've got a little oscilloscope set in uh, to the same cable. Uh, got me black box nanocom reading there you can see the revs 744 and the 20 pound rev counter is working let me just uh, increase the revs put on about 2000 tallies up frequency on the uh, on the scope increases and decreases with revs. So yeah, all looked up and working. So all I've got to do is put that together. One thing that was catching me out, you need to put a, a pull-up resistor on the taco line to 12 volts. Let me turn this around, I'll show you. 
obviously that's just lashing for now but it, the ECU, ECU needs that uh, to function correctly if you buy a genuine taco um, from a Land Rover at a price two three hundred pounds it'll have a built-in pull-up resistor now you need to add your own I'll describe all this um, in the text that goes with the video but basically I'll uh, just briefly recap what we've done I've connected into the cable that's coming out of the black connector pin 19 of the ECU on my 2001 Defender not everyone will have a, a white and grey cable some will have I think it is yellow and pink depends if you've got ABS braking or not but in my case that white and grey wire handily goes up to the dash you can see it's hooked in there so I haven't got to worry about running the cable um, with the loom to take it up to the dash so I can hook straight into that cheapo taco from eBay 20 pound do need a pull-up resistor I've put a 10 kilo ohm uh, 10k resistor in there from the positive to the taco feed um, and there's a little trimmer pot on the back there see that blue thing you'll need to trim that to get the right revs uh, for your engine so it's handily I've got the nanocom I can confirm that or I could uh, look at the scope for the frequency as well so uh, that would have worked out quite good but that's it it's working I can put that into the dash I want to go one step further though if you look at this got a red needle if you look on the dash there's a bit of haze going on with the sun I'm afraid all the other needles there are white so that's not going to tally up in my book so I'll show you what I've done bear with me right this is the plan part two you'll see what I've got off eBay a fiver oil temperature gauge I don't want that for the oil temperature gauge I want it for the needle that needle is going to come off this one slip over to the taco and all the instruments are going to have the same all white needles and the other thing I'm going to have to double check in the taco it may have an LED or it may have a filament bulb whatever it's got is not going to match with the other instruments I'm thinking so I'll need to double check that and update uh, accordingly like put a new filament bulb in there that's the same as the other instruments so I need to do that the only problem I'm going to have here this is crimped aluminium ring same as a taco now I've got to be able to recover the taco in a good condition I've got to be able to uncrimp it open it up put the needle in put it back together without any blemishes visible from the front so I may have to make a little jig up that to allow me to uncrimp it and crimp it back up again don't know about this one but the tacos are one that I don't want to be damaged so what I'll do I'm going to end the video there you know I've got to work in taco part two is going to be swapping the needles over and hopefully um, getting it working well with the new needle and the new uh, new bulb in there and the full install into the dash so yeah that's where we are now look out for part two where hopefully you'll see the original taco with a white needle on it and we'll install it into the instrument cluster so yeah that's where we are now anyhow thanks for watching